Welcome to this broadcast. I'm Tamanna Enamdar and a very happy Dashera in advance to all of you joining us today as we go through the second quarter numbers of various companies. Today I'm talking about Phenolex Industries whose numbers have been out yesterday. Uh, we're going to be speaking with their MD, Ajit Venkatraman, in just a minute. But let me go across and go through some of those numbers first. So they consolidated year on year, saw revenues down 6% at 883 crores. Uh, most numbers have been below expectations. EBITDA uh, was at 102 uh, crores versus a loss the previous year, same quarter, at 142 crores. Margins uh, are at 11.66%, uh, so improvement from a minus 15% last year this time. Net profit was at 97.96 crores. These are consolidated numbers versus a loss of 95.38 crores last year this time. Sequentially as well, there has been a slide in some of those parameters. Now, this is a, a PVC and a pipe fittings company, has about 30% market share in the formal sector. And to understand more about the business, what happened this quarter, and what we can see going forward, I'm joined now by, by Mr. Venkat Raman. Thank you so much for speaking with us today. Uh, happy festive season to you in advance as well. Is uh, some of that joy perhaps missing in the Q2 numbers, sir? No, uh, actually, uh, based on the performance which you see, we have uh, the, the EBITDA margins have been have seen a significant turnaround. As you mentioned, 143 crores loss, Q2 at 23, and uh, we have done 103 crores of profit now. Uh, the drop in uh, revenue is uh, mainly driven by the drop in raise in volume, which drops by about uh, 31%. And that essentially is driven by uh, some supply chain issues uh, that we had uh, with one of our key suppliers in Middle East mm. who could not uh, ramp up its production after a shutdown. And therefore, that has impacted the overall uh, volumes which you can see. Um, you also had a plant shutdown in April. What exactly were those issues and have they resolved now? No, our, our plant shutdown is an annual uh, phenomenon that okay. happens in our February uh, pipe, uh, the PVC manufacturing plant. And uh, that is a normal course of uh, uh, routine plant maintenance. And you're not expecting this in Q3 because sometimes uh, it happens no, in it Q3 happens as well. Okay, so you're it done with that. that. All right, yes. let's come to some of the breakup that we've uh, seen this time in terms of segments. Uh, let's start with pipes and fittings. Uh, you have seen an improvement there relatively, isn't it? That's right. And uh, although uh, the increase is about 7%, what we are uh, happy about is the shift that has happened more towards the plumbing and sanitation segment, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, what we are aiming towards. Can you give us the breakup of these segments? So uh, uh, this quarter, our uh, uh, agriculture versus uh, pl plumbing and sanitation segment split is about 60-40. That is versus about... 70, 30 uh, earlier? 70, 30. That's right. All right. And what is your outlook for this split going forward? So in the next uh, uh, three to five years, we expect the split to reach 50-50. Okay. Uh, you also have a sort of guidance for a 15% CAGR growth. Are you on track so far in H1? Yes, uh, we are anticipating uh, uh, 10 to 15% uh, growth and that we are fairly confident of for this financial year. Okay, let's go into some of the details, especially with the raw material prices. Uh, they have been fairly steep, uh, steep, but come off their September highs. What is the kind of trend you're seeing for PVC prices and its impact? So, uh, PVC prices uh, were stable uh, for most part of the year, mm. but we have uh, seen uh, in the first three weeks of October a significant drop almost about 11 rupees per kg for PVC, which is quite significant. And uh, therefore, a uh, lot of channel uh, partners have been holding off on offtakes uh, mm -hmm. for uh, they don't want to hold a high value inventory in their uh, warehouses. And that's the reason why uh, you would see a, uh, there was a, a slowdown in the last uh, five to six weeks 
because the channel partners were anticipating this drop. Um, going forward, we expect that uh, the PVC prices, which hit about $750 per metric ton last week, um, that would, uh, has hit the rock bottom. Mm -hmm. And we saw the prices going up a little bit uh, today. And therefore, we expect that uh, the bottom has been reached and going forward, there might be a slight increase and, and would, stab uh, would stabilize at uh, more or less this level. Okay. Um, let's talk a bit more about your agribusiness. And of course, you're uh, moving those proportions uh, away from that much dependence on the agribusiness. But this space has been doing well. What is the impact that you've seen of the monsoons? What is your forecast for the kind of consumption expected on the back of uh, not just the rural business, but also anticipated higher infra spends by the government going into the next election cycle? So uh, if you actually see the agri segment has been growing at the 8 to 10 percent uh, mm -hmm. growth and the uh, plumbing and sanitation, which is driven by construction business, yes. is uh, growing at a rate of about 15 percent. So we expect the industry, pipes and fitting industry to grow anywhere between 10 and 15 percent. And that is something which uh, I think the industry has experienced. And uh, that is the CAGR that is expected over the next four to five years. Okay. Can you give us uh, some sense of your uh, CAPEX plans as well, Mr. Venkatraman? In FY23, you had about, I think, 20,000 tons in pipes, 12,000 in fittings. What is your outlook uh, by the end of this financial year? Um, in terms of uh, CAPEX? Yes, in terms uh, of CAPEX. So normal, normal CAPEX for us has been anywhere uh, between... Uh, 150 to 200 crores. Mm. Uh, we could be needing an expansion uh, based on the growth expected and our current capacity in the next two, three years. So uh, we are uh, evaluating our options at the moment. And uh, we will come back to you as soon as we have uh, uh, decided on that. Okay. Uh, fine. I understand you can't share any numbers right now, but. Uh, yeah. Any kind of uh, idea on strategy or what areas you're looking la looking at at this point? See, we will need expansion both in our pipes and fittings. Mm. And therefore, uh, both areas, uh, we recently went through an expansion of adding almost about 30% capacity for our fitting. Uh, it, uh, we made a state-of-the-art new plant in the month of March. And uh, we expect that uh, that segment as well will... Uh, see significant growth and expansion. Okay. Uh, let me wrap up with an outlook for H2 uh, from you, Mr. Venkatraman. What are the uh, tailwinds that you see? What are the challenges going ahead as uh, you enter the last two quarters? The expectation of growth remains the same. Hmm. Uh, it is going to be a large uh, part dependent upon how the PVC prices, how, how much stability comes into the PVC prices. And uh, Based on what we see, the PVC, if the PVC prices are fairly stable, then uh, we are looking at a, a, almost a 10 to 15 percent growth. Okay, so you're sticking with your 10 to 15 percent growth target. That's not changing either way. That's right. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Venkatraman, for speaking with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.